Okay, we're starting out turn number eight, and Alyssa is currently immobilized, but she's standing up with four hit points, so we don't need to use a surge token, and we've already used two, so playing by the basic rules, we're out of surge tokens, but the game says you can add in a third one to make it easier. So we're going to attack the rat swarm that's right next to us, using our careful attack. Now even though we're immobilized, we're still able to do that because the immobilization just says you can't move. So I kind of think of it as like her legs are just anchored in place, they're chained down to the ground or something like that. But she can still swing a sword or shoot her bow. So we're just going to use the automatic attack to take out the rat swarm. So the rats go down. So we attacked, and we will get to draw a treasure card because of that successful attack. <clears throat> and we get a short rest. Play this fortune to meet. This is useless, because we haven't used any of our abilities. So that's... Flip up one of your unused powers. Yep, useless. So these just fizzle. They don't do anything. So, uh, we cannot move because we're immobilized, but we can still explore because she does not have to be on an unexplored edge in order to explore. So the immobilization is gone at the end of the hero phase, so that's gone, and we're going to say that she does go ahead and explore because we don't have any monsters currently attacking us, so, or we don't have any monsters you know, currently around us. So we are going to explore to the north. Actually, let me think about that for a second. Let's try to get away from that gargoyle because I'm afraid if I start going this way, I'll end up next to that gargoyle again. So let me slide this all forward. And we'll say that she explores to the south. And we see an unfortunate triangle. White. So we get one more of those and Strahd wakes up and it's GG. <clears throat> so we got a white tile and we place a monster. So let's see what kind of monster we get. Zombie. I think out of all of the monsters this is probably one that I dread seeing the least because it has a low AC, its attack isn't really high, and it doesn't do a ton of damage as long as there's not a bunch of other monsters around. So we place the zombie, and there is no encounter, which is nice. Um, the villain is not out. The gargoyle is still there doing nothing. The rats are gone, so now we have the zombie. Okay, so the gargoyle activates, does nothing. The zombie activates. <coughs> if the zombie is within one tile, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks that hero with a rotting fist. So it's going to move up here. Bone pile, we're going to say bone pile to bone pile. Now, if, if Alyssa had been over here, it would have to move adjacent to Alyssa. It wouldn't, just, it wouldn't go to the bone pile because it has to be adjacent, but since the bone pile keeps the zombie adjacent, that's why I'm putting it on the bone pile. So it gets a plus five, and if it hits, it hits. If it misses, it misses. The way God intended. And of course it hit. Why can't I roll this well when it's my turn to fight? So it does one damage for each monster on this tile. Luckily, there's only one monster on that tile. So it takes us down to three. And that is going to be the end of turn number eight. And we'll come back and see how things go in turn number nine.